What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Long time no see. I was gone for about three weeks and I was traveling in New York for work and then California for work, but also for this, I guess you can consider work as well. Um, at any rate, I was once again asked to film uh, an Evolution Space launch, which is super awesome. So before I roll the footage, I just wanted to give you guys a little more insight on what Evolution Space is. It's a privately funded space company developing propulsion systems, i.e. motors and rockets for CANSATs and customers to send stuff to space. They have a few other projects as well. So this is not hobby stuff. This is very much the real deal. I'm just very fortunate that I've been friends with a co-founder of the company, Manny, and I've befriended Steve over the past few years as well. So I'm very fortunate to know these people. It's a super cool experience that not a lot of people in the rocketry world get to have to see an S motor take off from a couple hundred feet away. It's a, it's a visceral experience. Like you feel it in your chest, of course, but you feel it in your feet too. Like the ground actually moves. It's a very powerful rocket and a very powerful experience. So like I said, super pleased that I got to be a part of this and I'm super happy with the video that came together. And this is the video that I produced for Evolution Space's YouTube channel, which you can see on their YouTube channel right now. However, I'd like you to go subscribe to their channel, which I'll put the link in the description. You can find it in the little eye in the top right here as well, because I'm working on a long format, almost like a mini documentary sort of behind the scenes thing on the, I guess, week leading up to the launch and the event that they held the day before and all of this cool stuff. Um, I spent a lot of time putting together some pretty nice shots. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. But without further ado, here is my video of Evolution Space's rocket gold chain cowboy that did successfully make it to space and then some surpassing the Carmen line by quite a lot. Thank you for being a part of it. At this point, we're going to enter our final launch tour. 
and then we will enter an auto start sequence and the computer will count down from there. Thank you everybody for joining and uh, stand by. This is the flight director. All systems are go. Vehicle is armed. Confirm green range. Copy. Range green. Vehicle is on turn power. Go for auto sequence start. All systems are go. We are at T minus 20 seconds and counting. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. Stand by for D spin. D spin activated. Passing three hundred thousand. Yeah! This is the car line. The rocket has reached space. Let's go! Let's go! Both computers confirmed the nose cone's off. Nose cone is off. Drove is deployed. We're at 95,000 feet. <laughs> the Carmen line for reference is 326. Six, six, thank you. Mach 5.2, right? Yeah, is what we saw, so that's exactly what we were expecting. So that's hypersonic, so five times the speed of sound. Uh, vehicle survived, as you saw, it made it all the way up to space. Um, very nominal trajectory on the way up, excellent boost. So by all accounts, the, the flight up was, was perfect. Uh, and even on the way down, things were fairly nominal. We're going to look at what happened with the, uh, the recovery deployment, but we are confident that the vehicle separated, which is good, excellent. Uh, it slowed down, right? Uh, it came down. We have a very precise location of where it uh, landed. Quarter mile off the road. Yep. It's within, within the circle that we anticipate, anticipated it to be in. Um, so we're going to initiate the recovery effort here after we talk. Uh, but by all accounts, it looks like we're going to get hardware back and uh, we'll have good data for this flight. Huge win for Evolution today. Um, great work by everybody on the team. Uh, and I want to, again, thank everybody for being here. Uh, it's been a really cool experience. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. Um, but truly amazing. And uh, congratulations, Steve, and all of Evolution. Team win. Yeah, that's really all I had. We wanted to kind of wrap up everything together so everybody has a chance. Does anybody have any questions, comments? Yeah. Can I make a comment? Yeah, so um, I know there's a lot of people here who have been part of the success. Um, but I just want to tell you, Steve, without so many times he could have stopped. I mean, just called it quit. Uh, there was plenty of opportunity to do that. But without Steve spearheading this, this would never have happened. Amen, Steve, so, yes. I just want to give a round of applause to Steve. No one would be here without his tenacity. Thank you very much, Steve, for letting us come along with the ride. I love you, buddy.
Pretty cool, huh? What's also awesome is uh, for my work, I had a press vehicle loaner while I was down there, a Ford Maverick. Ford was kind enough to give me one for a week to shoot a video for Motor Biscuit. And if you're curious about what I do for work, please, again, in the eye, go subscribe to Motor Biscuit. Um, the more people that watch those videos and interact and everything, the more I'll have opportunities like that to do really cool stuff with cars that I don't own. A few weeks ago, I got to drive a Ferrari F12 for a day, which was super cool. So if you're into cars at all, please go check out Motor Biscuit. And again, like I said, please go subscribe to Evolution Space's YouTube channel. The link is in the description in the top right card section. I'm not quite sure on the timeline on that longer video, but it'll be out as soon as I get it situated and we get it all dialed in between me and Evolution Space's production team. But I am very excited for the future with this company and the cool things that they've got coming. And I'm happy that Steve and Manny and everybody involved in the team is happy with the video stuff that I'm putting together for them because that means I get to keep going and making these cool videos for them. So it's gonna be a good time. So I hope you're, uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. I've got a lot of stuff coming in the pipeline. I just got a piece of a new rocket that my Patreon supporters know about um, that just got delivered today. And I've got some new electronics that I'm very excited about. And the Honest John is actually kind of on the front of the stove right now because that's supposed to fly next weekend on an M and 4J motors. So assuming I get the parts I need and everything situated uh, with the very seemingly limited free time I have these days, we should be flying that and it should be awesome. Need to get a rock sim file together and make sure I have everything simulated and make sure, you know, safe, nose weight, all that. The good news is it's an Honest John, so if it needs nose weight, there's plenty of room up there for it. I also want to say thank you to those of you that checked out the first episode of the AGG podcast. We're going to be working on shooting some more episodes of that, but it was super, super fun to do. And I'm looking forward to doing more of those as we have the opportunities to do so. We'd like to get to a point where we can do it once a week, but I've got a lot of balls in the air right now. So I'm not sure how likely that's going to be, at least for the foreseeable future. As always, if you want behind the scenes and moment to moment up to date stuff about what I'm working on in the Rock True world, you can check out patreon.com slash rocket vlogs and you can get merch and cool stuff you want to help support the channel at rocketvlogs.com. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Braden. You just watched a Rocket Vlogs video and I will see you next time.